daily cycle for Windows NT begins when the newest build is released at 6 p.m. As our testing teams settle in for the evening, they install the build on dozens of clients and servers, which simulate the work of hundreds of thousands of users. With this magnitude of a product, automation is the only way to achieve the level of testing required. After they initiate the stress process, team members focus on refining the more than 10 million lines of testing code that serve as the frontline proving grounds for the overall reliability of Windows NT5. At 5 a.m., the remote diagnostics process begins. The logs for the overnight stress tests are carefully analyzed, then posted on a web page so that any team member can monitor quantitative results at any time. By 9 a.m., the stress and bug reports are sent to team members. At 9.30, team leads representing every system component assembled to prioritize which bugs get fixed that day. Over the next several hours, developers begin making fixes. Before they check in any changes, developers must compile their code using the most recent build, run functional tests, and submit their code to dev leads for a line-by-line -line review. In the meantime, our hardware labs are busy round the clock sorting out compatibility issues for some 580 OEM systems and more than 3,000 devices. For Windows NT5, our labs are testing 500 LAN adapters, 1,400 printers, 370 display adapters, and more than 2,600 modems. Every day we add more devices to the test matrix, so that by the time we ship Windows NT5, we'll have maximum compatibility coverage. Testing continues outside the labs, with teams dedicated to networking, security, and large-scale deployment issues. For example, in Building 26 of the Microsoft campus, the networking group maintains a router based on an early build of Windows NT Server 5 that has run uninterrupted for six months. Other teams focus on integration of services, such as virtual private networks, remote access, and the domain naming system. Thanks to new, specialized testing procedures, we have eliminated 45 blue screen bugs and 50 required reboots that existed when Windows NT4 shipped. We've also fixed more than 400 memory leaks. A number of these fixes will be backported to version 4. Even if the development team fixes every bug our testers find, we won't ship Windows NT5 until customers say it's ready. The team's daily routine, therefore, includes conference calls, briefings, and training sessions with key IT customers enrolled in the Rapid Deployment Program. And while the team tests more than 1,000 applications for compatibility, Microsoft's Developer Relations Group works with even more independent software vendors to test and incorporate new services into their products. Back in the lab, approved code changes arrive by 3 p.m. and the team goes to work assembling the new build. Before it's released, the build is installed and tested for integrity. Then it's automatically distributed over the network. And at 6 p.m., as the day's build goes out the door, the process starts all over again.